I'm feeling it right now, but I don't want to talk. So I'm bringing this man in right here. You see these blue eyes? These blue eyes don't lie, brother. I'm Chops. I'm the Pops. These are my boys. One, two, three. Three, two, one. Let's go, 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 go. All right. What? Never. Never say never. Never say never. You can yeah. do it. You can do it. And you can do it. Only you can do it. When I say it, you can do it. You know you can do it. I did it. He did it. I did it a long time ago. A long time ago. A really long time ago. You a real long You don't even time know ago, how long ago that a was. A real long time ago, like, baby. I'm like 60 years old. Well, plus minus two years. That's how old I am. But I know all the ring girls, and they know me too. They know yeah. him. That's right. <laughs> He's spreading like his sperm all over Alaska. Uh, He's spreading his cum all over yeah. the city, baby. We're here to Mexico. Yes, sir. He's searching. solution on the thing so they have to do it again. <laughs> different from everywhere else it's basically which looks like a customs line but it's just uh you see if you tested negative for covid we had to we had to test before we came here so quite strange hey guys made it to alaska i have no idea where the fuck i am a little bit of drunk Um, but I made it. I'm here. But on the way from JFK to Seattle, I had Wi-Fi. I always get the Wi-Fi. I don't know how much money I spend a year on Wi-Fi on airplanes, but it's probably more than I should. Um, I found out some unfortunate news. The fortunate news, though, the good news is that Nasty Leroy made his flight from ATL, a 5 a.m. flight from Atlanta, Georgia, to Charlotte, North Carolina. But when he got off the plane in Charlotte, North Carolina, Nasty Leroy missed his flight. How the fuck do you miss your connecting flight? I got an answer to that question. Your name is Nasty Leroy. Get your ass to Alaska, or else you're fucked. You're fucked. <laughs> you're fucked. So, uh, not a good situation right now. We were joking around before saying that Nasty Leroy he is um, stuck in Charlotte overnight. They gave him a hotel and shit. But his mom gave me a call um, saying that they found his bag at the airport. And it 
was it, I asked her if it was a check bag. She goes, no, it was the carry-on. So his carry-on bag, they found that at uh, the American terminal that he was leaving from. And his phone is off. Uh, he's missing. He's legit missing. This is not a joke. Uh, I just talked to his mom. So, I don't know. I might keep this video. I might not, <laughs> depending on the outcome. <laughs> so, yeah, this is uh, not a good situation. Um, unfortunately, um, <sighs> we, <laughs> we don't know what to do. All right, day two here in Alaska. Got an update on Nasty Leroy this morning. Uh, so I think he's in route. I don't know, I have no idea if he'll make it to this show tonight. Because even if he lands in Anchorage, he's still three hour and something drive to uh, this venue. By the way, this is a 15 by 15 ring. Never heard of that in my life. Oh. Um, <clears throat> about two hours away from the event tonight. Um, it's a weird half and half pro wrestling. I think it's MMA. Not quite sure. <laughs> so I think it's going to be more basically tough man competition <laughs> fights here. So I think it's four matches and four of those fights. Also another Leroy update. Apparently he's not making it to the show tonight. Uh, he's supposed to land in an hour and a half, I believe. Uh, they're, they're putting him on a shuttle and shipping him straight to the hotel we have to go to in Anchorage for tomorrow's show. So... He's supposedly on the plane. Let's see if he can make it to the hotel now. I don't even know what to say anymore. He's crazy. He has zero fear. Zero. I think, I think Swaggle's going to get a white claw. Janela, and, I, and I'm not even joking, he will go to the toughest club, mouth off to the biggest guy, get punched in the face, get up and mouth off to him again. Yes, he got a white claw. He's drinking a white claw. It's that's how you know it's gonna get raw. He's got the claw. Again, if you don't know about Janela, Janela might as well be sponsored by freaking White Claw. He oh, Janela's making a mess in the ring. I don't know yeah. if there's a camera Janella, here. We have like fights and wrestling matches. Now there's White Claw all over the ring. What are you doing? Oh, you know what? That's what Janela gets for that party foul. I so use White Claw to go to bed, to wake up, to snack on, and everything in between. Janela, the mad Karen of professional wrestling, getting busy with that White Claw. Janela spazzing out at ringside. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh! Stunner! Swaggle Stunner! And that's it! That is it! Last time you fought here, what happened? The last you time that dude fought here, he got kicked in the kidney and pissed in the ring. I wonder how many money 
bets are circulating in this audience tonight. I'll put a buck on dreadlocks. I don't know, the hometown guy. Oh, I don't know what was... Yeah. Hey, they gave me this room when I said I would be with you guys. I mean, with you. I thought it was dude, good. this is not. The, they gave you the wrong room, dude. See, yeah, got, I didn't see you in here, and I was like, what? so you got a free hotel room? Yeah, yeah. There's no one else in here. Nope, it's just me. Shit, man. Well, we thought you were dead for a minute. Yeah, that's what people say. You know, I was dead. I was just, I was just the and the night in Charlotte I slept in. You know. How did you get to the hotel in Charlotte? Uh, lady hooked it up. Uh, fire assistance lady. So what? So what happened? All right. So I got off the plane. As soon as I got off the plane, I asked the asked the lady American Airlines. She told me go go and laugh. It was that way. And I was like, okay. Did you go to Chicken Filet instead? No, I didn't go to Chicken Filet. Uh, okay. No, uh, it was that way. Then. Two more ladies told me it was the other. It was the same way, and it was to the, and it was to the other lap. So by the time I realized that I got turned around, I asked the final lady coming back up. She's like, "Oh, uh, your your gate is." Uh, she looked at the boarding pass, and she's like, "Oh, your gate is way up there." So I had to run up there, and I finally, finally got up there after the third lady. They uh, was closing the doors, and they was like, oh, it's closed, it's closed. But then they denied me access, telling me I wasn't on the flight. I was like, I'm, this my, my name is on the boarding pass. And then, so I went to the lady, both, or the other, two other ladies, one on the left, one on the right, said, basically, you're screwed, you're fucked over, you know. The middle lady said, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to help you out. She's talking to the manager. She got me a room. I stayed the night in Charlotte. Then uh, I went out, fly out of Charlotte, then fly to Chicago. How'd you get to the hotel from the airport? Well, they had a shuttle. They okay. took me to. She had organized a shuttle. Uh, somebody walked me to the shuttle. Uh, I went to the shuttle. I stayed the night. Like I said, I went to went out of Charlotte to Chicago, and now I'm here. And In Charlotte, did you have anything on you? Your bag somehow... It ended was, up in Alaska. It was in it was in Alaska, you know. Your bag went without you. Yeah. So I, what did you have on you in Charlotte? Just had my nightmare family clothes on and. Did you have money? Yeah, I had money on. I had my wallet. Okay. So. Did you eat in Charlotte? Yeah, I did. What did you eat? I eat, get guess what? I ate some chilies. Chilies. Yeah. There was a chilies in the hotel. No, it was chilies down the street. Okay. Yeah. No, no, no dog car stuff. So yesterday the flight went fine. You got here. What time did you get here? Uh, I got here at seven. Seven o'clock. Yeah. You just chilled out in this room. Yeah. Um, anything else? When I got to the when I got to the uh the desk, I was I told her the name. I was like, Hey, I'm here with uh, the group of wrestlers. Um, here with Joey Janella, and then she was like, All right, okay. And I was like, All right. So she gave me the key. Gee, it was thirteen hundred. Which I thought was your room, so I was like, "Oh, yeah." Dude. They messed that up because I was I'm in a giant suite by myself. It's like a three bedroom suite by myself. Damn. Um. Uh. So I got in the room and I stayed. I just got on here, you know, propped up and you know just watched some TV, and that's what I did. You know? Remember the show day though? Yeah. Dude, you're only gonna be here for le less than thirty hours. Yeah. You came in, you flew in. Did my gonna, thing. We're gonna. And I gotta figure out how to do this goddamn shower because I couldn't figure out how to do the shower. You made it here in Alaska. Mm -hmm. You look like 
you look like Peter Pan in that hoodie. You're about to get hit by a lift. A couple different? months ago, you're, you're telling me that you believe that your buzz has dropped significantly. Mm -hmm. uh, because why? Because I took a picture with Enzo at my Hooters. You took a picture with Enzo? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is your big weekend, man. This is the test. If you do good here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you on spring break, okay? Yeah. I'm going to put you on spring break. But you got to do good this weekend. You almost fucked up big time. Yeah. Dude, you flew here on my own dime. Yeah. On my money. They didn't yep. they didn't pay to fly you here. Nope. I paid to fly you here. Nope. And you almost missed your flight. Yep. So. Stay you fat. Yeah. You almost fucked up. So you got one, one chance, one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted. Would you capture it? Or would you just let it slip? I'll capture it. Leroy, Leroy, we're wrestling a vampire tonight. Do you have any clue how to handle a vampire in a wrestling ring? Do you have any advice for me? Get onions. That's all I can. <laughs> it's not onions, you fuck. It's garlic, dude. Okay, get garlic, yeah. Oh my god. I should know that watching vampire movies. Yeah, you know, your show sucks! <laughs> Who's that guy saying? It's Brian Myers, dude. Get your camera off, bud. Oh, and Cabana. And, Put a and, mask on, Leroy. and right, Swoggle. Put your fucking mask on. Ah, uh, no. Why didn't you do this in your room? Why are you doing this in the lobby of the hotel? Dude, I said three o'clock. Be down in the lobby. Yeah, I don't know. I know. And it's taking you an hour to put on the belt. Well, it's not. It's not taking an hour. Come on, dude. What the fuck are you doing? Here you go. Listen to his Bouncing Souls playlist. God, dude. Okay. It's, it's embarrassing, New York. You getting changed in the lobby of a hotel. Oh. This is your this is your comeback, baby. Yeah, I got it. This is your big return to the spotlight. You almost didn't make it here. Yeah. And now you're holding everyone up. Do that in the fucking car. Let's go. Let's go. Do that in the car. Let's go. Let's go.
Leroy, what did you what did you what did you think tonight of the of your performance of the match? I thought it was I think it was good. I mean, you know, uh, I came out too early, but dude, why did you come out too early? You I'm, came I out think, oh, so and before you walked out, and when I walked out, you already had the mic on your head. You were already trying I to was, fucking talk. Well, right, here we go. If you don't know who that is by the music, then you're not too much of a wrestling fan. I'm a bad, bad boy. Needs one person. And oh, look who's out first. Here look who's Leroy. out first. I don't know if you know who Nasty Leroy is. This man is actually locally famous in a town in Georgia nobody has heard of. There's only about 17 people. It's a town smaller than the smallest town in Alaska, but he's locally famous there. Oh, well, coming out. Coming out. Dude, you're already trying to talk. I was, I was excited. Dude, fans, fans were saying that, fans are saying that you didn't put me over once. You just put over yourself the entire time. I didn't put you over. So, and and, and so, so, so uh, a successful debut in Alaska besides me face fucking you in the ring. Yeah. I, Vampires! Gangrel has Leroy! Gangrel has Leroy! He has that man! He has that man! What are we? We have Gangrel and Leroy! Oh! This is right hand! Gangrel took Leroy's head off with that vicious right hand! That was a snake. I like him, but he's snake. Oh! No! The power! Give him the first one! Give him the first one! Of a veteran right there! Janela had no good intentions with that handshake! He took him out with an impaler! DDT! I didn't see you there, dude. The DDT had me, uh, the DDT had me knock silly and, uh... I had a great time tonight. Yeah, you, you know... Papa me. <laughs> I don't know how to. <laughs> I saved your ass from getting the. They wanted the DDT. They were chanting DDT. Dude, if I didn't get up and save your ass, seriously, Gangrel would have DDT'd you. You would have fucking broke your neck. No, he would have probably given you the shittiest DDT of his entire career. As he called it, the Impaler. Probably like the Edge version. He got it from Gangrel, but signing off. What do you? We're gonna go out drinking now, uh, and you got to be at the airport at what time? Three o'clock. What? Like fl the flight's like five, right? Yeah, but you got to be there at like three. Yeah, three thirty. So you gotta leave at three. Uh, my flight's at eight. You got that red eye, superstar. Lifestyle. But you made it, dude. Yep, I did. I think I think uh, spring you know, break is here. in your future, man. Even though we're in October at this point, how you feel about that? Making your spring break debut. Hey, uh, this is what I always wanted. So, well, fuck it. Well, the day Cheers. Day. Job well done. I don't have a, I don't have a beer yet. It's right there. We grab a claw. Grab a, a soldier. Grab one and drink it. <laughs> Cheers. But I will drive. Road sodas, baby. Live it on the road, Leroy. One more cheers to that. I missed my flight. I never plugged my phone in last night. And <laughs> there's not another flight till tomorrow. <laughs> so I guess after all the shit I've talked about Nasty Leroy, I guess, please, um, <laughs> cue the Curb Your Enthusiasm <laughs> music. <laughs>